Have anybody here heard of quantum entanglement before? Okay. Quantum entanglement is very important. It's a very powerful thing. It links us to the spiritual world. The reason why prayers work if you know how to pray, and that's a very important thing I talk about a lot of my, <laughs> at a lot of my seminars, you have to know how to pray because there's two different ways to pray. Maybe I'll talk a little bit about it here as well. But you must quantum entangle with the source energy. And when you quantum entangle with the source energy, that's when you can get a result. If you're praying at the wrong frequency, in other words, if you're praying from a position of begging, uh, you know, from a position of being on your knees, which is not a problem being on your knees, but you're in the position of, I need help and I don't know where I'm going to get it, and I'm asking and begging for something, a result, versus using the power that's already in you of the creation and commanding your end result, commanding I'm healed, commanding that this is, situation is going to get taken care of, commanding that everything is going to work out in my favor, not commanding as if I'm the creator of all planets and moons and solar systems and everything else, but commanding knowing that the source energy runs through you, in you, and out of you, and understanding that all of that is on the inside, and then you can push it to alter your reality tunnel on the outside. And in science, in quantum physics, you can quantum entangle atoms by simply phase-shifting the atomic frequency to the same frequency. So if I take... If I do parabolic down conversion with a laser and take two particles of matter and get them on the same frequency, I can take one of those particles to the other end of the universe. And then when I change the information or put data on the one that's local to me, the other one that's on the other end of the universe will change instantaneously to match. Okay, so that's incredible. That bypasses the speed of light. So what does that tell you? Distance is an illusion. Space is an illusion. Time is an illusion. Locality is an illusion. The fact that I'm standing up here now talking to you, I'm actually talking to myself. <laughs> and vice versa, when you're talking to somebody, you're talking to yourself. We're all different aspects of the same exact consciousness. That's all we are. We're literally, consciousness divided itself into multi-Googles of entities to experience itself subjectively from various different perspectives on a data collection mission. Consciousness is here to collect information. That's what this whole experiment is all about.